All right, guys. Well, it's been a slow morning here. I haven't caught one crab. I haven't seen a crab. I got a couple nibbles on my fishing rod with the shrimp. So I think we're going to pack it up from here and uh, move on down to a second spot. All right, stick around. We are moving. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so we're in another spot. We came back up toward Crystal River area. Um, Inglis was a total nothing. I caught one little crab right before I left there, decided to leave there. Um, but yeah, it was uh, nothing going on. The bridge looked really nice. Maybe some good fishing there. Um, we're not really set up for fishing. We're crabbing today. So anyway, we might try that another day for uh, for fishing. But um, anyway, we're at a new spot. And uh, we're going to be fishing right over here. I already saw a crab when I pulled up. So it's a little crabby. We'll see. But we're going to stop here for um, give it a half hour. Yeah, we'll give it a half hour, an hour, and uh, see what happens. Um, and then if not, I got uh, another spot just down the road here. We'll, we'll go back to um, where I fished at my last um, crabbing video. Okay. All right, if we get anything, we'll bring it to you. All right, guys, we're going to pick this up and see, see if we got anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got... I got two. We got a double. They're small though. We got two. Okay. Let them go on the other side. <clears throat> All right, let's check this other one. Nothing on that one. We'll put it back out again. Alright guys, I just uh, rigged up a fishing line. But before I throw that out, let's check these uh, crab traps. They should be... It's about been about 15 minutes. one but it oh what the heck oh he's holding that up <laughs> he was holding it open when I pulled him it wouldn't close good thing he was just little all right let's cast him out again let's check the other one to it. No, we missed him. He was hanging on. He was a good one too. The fishing pole wasn't in two seconds and the crab took a piece of shrimp and I flinged him on the shore. We're going to put him in the cooler. All right, well that was exciting. Wasn't even in there two minutes. We'll get another piece of shrimp, put it on, see. Maybe we'll get another crab. We'll keep the net handy just in case. I gotta scoop one up. That means a hand line will probably be pretty good too. Alright, I'm gonna go put this back out again. Hoping for a fish, but if we can catch a crab, that's what we came for. All right, I'm gonna leave it on, see? Real time if we get a crab again. Let's 
So we got three crabs so far. That was a nibble. It kind of felt like a mangrove snapper. Now let's see what we got. I might pick my bait. Yeah, my bait's gone. All right, I'm gonna go check the uh, crabs on the other side over there. Yeah, we got one, but he's little. Okay, only one, but he was little. All right, guys, time to check the traps again, and then uh, gonna throw them back in. I'm gonna have some lunch while I'm waiting. Well, we had two. We had two. One went in the water, but he was little. We got a little female here. So we had two in that basket. Let me get this female back in the water. All right, there goes that one. See what's in this one. Oh yeah, that one. Well, I don't know. He's borderline. He's got some good sized claws on it though. You know what? We're gonna keep them. He's real close to being where I want. And I don't think he's any smaller than the other ones. All right, guys. Lunchtime is over. Let's see if uh, any of the crabs are having lunch. I've oh, got a little one. we got a little one in there, I can see. Yeah, oh, he dropped off. Female. There's your female. Okay, she found her way down there. Okay. Tree. Let's see what we got over here. <clears throat> No, I'm gonna go over across the way and uh, see what we got. All right, 
Let's check this and see what's going on. That uh, feels heavy. Oh yeah, we got a crab. We got a crab. It's not too bad. I think we'll keep them. We got some going on, so claws ain't that big, but it's a crab. Can't be too picky today. <laughs> the last two days or two times out, it's been uh, it's been rough. Okay, let's put him in. Put him in the cooler. Okay, let's go pass this one out and uh, check the other one. Okay, time to do it again. Yeah, nothing in there, and that bait's pretty shot. And nothing's going on here. I think we're going to make another move. One more move before um, before I head home. to stand over here to pull it in so we don't get in the bushes snail I think yep we got a snail go check the other rod bring the hand line in and we're out of here we'll go find another spot Hopefully somewhere in the shade. Okay, got one more. Just a snail and hardly any bait. They ate the heck out of that. All right guys, well, we're gonna head on out of here. And uh, we'll pick you up at the next spot we go to. Okay, guys, we are at our next and last spot in Crystal River County. It's a county dock and boat ramp. And we are going to do some crabbing and fishing for probably another hour, something like that. And, uh, We'll see what happens. Another one here. got a crab it's not that big but I think we're gonna keep them I'll hold I'll go through them okay it's not too bad I keep them. <clears throat> All right. Put this back out again. All right, that was.
those all of about 15 minutes. Let's pull these other ones. I saw the line, the line was going like that, like something was nibbling on it. These nothing, but um, we'll try it anyway, see. Oh yeah, oh there's a big one. That's a nice one there. Oh, uh, one claw. One claw, but he's good. All right. There's two. Oh yeah, he's a little bigger than the other one. He's not happy. All right, cool. That makes two. Let's put this one back out again. <clears throat> and we'll check the other one. Let's go check this one. See what's in here, if anything. Oh, uh oh, why didn't that close? Hmm. Okay, that was a male function of that one, but um, I don't think we had anything in it anyway. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to redo this. Redo this chicken. You can see the little post sticks out there. You pick that up and put that over the post and then push down on it. There you go. All right, that's better. I'm gonna move this over here a little closer, maybe in between these two. Check them again in a few minutes. We got a fishy on. The head shake feels like a catfish. My favorite. Where is he? Feels like a catfish. Yep. Just what I thought, Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty. I hate these boogers. The good thing is she did get it right on the corner of the mouth. So guys, we got a nice pavilion here. You want to bring the family for the day fishing, crabbing, have a barbecue. pretty nice good place to come watch the sunset and there's where I'm fishing my little friend I just fed him a shrimp <clears throat> see he wants another one Let's see if we give him another one another one another one here here you go there you go good girl I'm not going to bother you. Is that good? You want another one? Because I'm getting rid of them. Want another one? That's too big. small 
Here you go, babies. Here you go. You want that one? Come on. Here. There you go. Beautiful bird. You're beautiful. Yes, you are. All right, let's go check our traps and see what we got going. That was pretty cool. If I had more time with him, he'd probably take it out of my hand. He's just a little skittish right now. All right, let's try, uh, see what we got. Nope, nothing. I'm gonna put it a little closer to the shore. See if that helps any. All right, let's pull this one up. Oh yeah. Do I have one? Oh yeah, just one. But he's a good size one. He's a good one. We're gonna keep him all the others he's no littler than the other ones I had okay good deal that makes uh, I think eight now we have So far, that's my best day I've had in a while. Yeah. All right, let's check this one here. Oops. Nope. All right, we'll put this bag down again. Here. Hi, babies. Do you want another shrimp? One more? Okay, let's give them one more shrimp. And then we're going to check our rods. Gotta get a small one. I want to get a too big one. Too big one. And then I'm, what I've been doing just breaking off the little tail and this horn. Make it easier for him. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Not sure. Okay. All right, that's it for now. Let me go check my uh, fishing rod, see if there's any bait on it. Never had too much luck here. Caught a couple red fish and a drum, black drum, some sheephead and some mangrove snapper. That's about all you get here. Yeah, all the hooks are empty. All right, let me go rebait this and we'll put it back out again. I'm gonna show you the crabs we got. We got eight crabs. That's all we got today. They're barely, they're just barely keepers, but you gotta take what gets. All right, guys, well, we're done with crabbing. We're home. We got all the crabs cleaned, and we are going to steam them up. And I just thought I'd um, show you for anybody that doesn't know what to do with them. Uh, after <clears throat> you catch them, we're going to steam them up. And then tomorrow, I will pick them because it's late. It's almost uh, well, it's past 830 right now. And I've been up all day, so we're going to um, pick them tomorrow, and then I will show you a recipe on how to make crab cakes and they're really good delicious easy only need several ingredients and more than likely you have them at your house well, actually i'm probably going to put about uh six to eight cups of water in here and then we're going to season the water get the crabs and uh, i'll show you how to do it <clears throat> all right guys so i got about two inches of water in there which is about four and a half cups of water and we're going to put this on um, high 
and we're going to get it uh, started to boil. So here are my crabs I've got cleaned up in the bucket. So you can see what they look like. So I rip off the shell and you take the mouth off. And then there's a, a gland here. This is a this is all these are all males, but that's the male gland. You take that off. And, and then what I do is I put them in a bucket, take them outside and I get the hose on a jet spray and I clean out all the guts in there so that um, it's nice and clean. That's that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and season the water. So we're going to put some vin <clears throat> vinegar in the water. Uh, if you have white vinegar, that's OK. Um, I'm just using because it's open um, apple cider vinegar and you want about a half a cup. And what the and what the vinegar is going to do is it's going to help loosen the meat away from the shell so that when you pick the crabs, it comes uh, comes away a little easier. So then we have some Old Bay. We're going to put some Old Bay in there. Actually, let me turn it around <clears throat> pour it in. And we're going to put some more on the crabs itself. And then we're going to do some garlic powder. All right. So I'm going to let that get up to a boil first. And then once it gets up to a boil, we're going to let it boil and I'm going to stir it for a little bit there so all those um, spices and stuff get in to the water and then we're going to go ahead and layer these crabs in so here's my crabs so we ended up getting eight crabs total today and they're not they're not super they're not super big they're like they're just keepers anything smaller I, I wouldn't have kept we probably caught 30 more at least that I threw back that were too small or or females I don't I don't keep the females unless that's all we're catching and they're big enough um, all the females we caught today were small and none of them were egg bearing um, so in October is usually when the larger bigger crabs come in uh, because that's their mating season in October they'll come in to mate and then they'll um, kind of go out by uh, middle of November December so um, October is a good month once the water cools off a little bit you can catch those larger crabs all right it's almost to a boil hey, after a day today too <laughs> I'm gonna have a beer it is beer 30 for sure it was hot out there today okay so let me get we're gonna turn that down to a medium 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 low we want to let all that stuff get together for about a minute. I've turned it down to almost like just, just above a simmer now. Okay, no. We are ready to put the crabs in. Put a little bit more. Just open up the bigger one. Some of them were broken half when I was trying to get the shell off. All right, so that made it a pretty good sized pot of crabs so this is the most crabs I've caught in a long time all right so we're going to sprinkle a little bit more on here we're going to get the garlic <clears throat> now this stuff's pretty salty so I wouldn't put any salt on there and we're going to do some onion <clears throat> powder on top too and then we're going to get a, a cover and put a cover on this. And we're going to let them steam. Let's 
see, is that the cover? Yes. Okay, we're gonna turn the heat back up to medium, medium high. And we're gonna cook that for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, once it starts uh, boiling again. All right, we'll bring you back when they're done. Okay guys, 10 minutes is up. Actually, we cooked them 12 minutes. And look at that bowl of yummy. We're going to let them, uh, we're going to put the lid on, put them off the back burner, let them cool down for a few minutes. And then we will take them out and put them in the refrigerator overnight and then tomorrow morning or tomorrow sometime I will pick them and after I get them done picked and we're making our crab cakes I'll bring you back and I'll show you how to make them all right good morning guys this is the next day and I'm getting ready to pick these crabs here's what they all uh, look like all clean ready to go wanted to show you what I use so I've got some crack um, shell crackers and I have a little pick, it's got a little fork, and then a little flat end that uh, we'll pick it there and I'm gonna get a bowl to put it in there and then um, I just got a little cupped uh, aluminum foil to kind of put the shells and all that stuff in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick and show you how to clean one of them and I'm gonna go ahead and pick all these rest. It's gonna take uh, an hour or so to do that. So I'm gonna uh, do one for you so you can get the idea and then uh, after I pick everything, when I get ready to make the uh, crab cakes, uh, I'll bring you back and I'll show you the recipe on how to make those. All right, guys, hang on. Let me get set up and I'm going to show you how to clean the first one. I'm going to get the biggest crab that I have so you can see. That's what I got. This only has one claw. But I break the claw off. Pull out the swimming legs. If you... Sometimes the meat will come out if you take it right here with your thumb and break it out. Well, it, sometimes it does, but that didn't that didn't come out now. So anyway, then you break the break the body in half, and then I just break off all the legs. And you can see there's some meat on the end of the legs as they came out. So take them, put them in your bowl. If you want on the bigger crabs, on the swim, swim legs, you can break those in half sometimes and pull out a little bit of meat, but these are small. All right, and then as far as the body, I just break them out. You got these little cavities right in here. See like that's a piece of meat coming out there. Put that in your bowl. But the the body itself has like cavities with a, a membrane, kind of a plastic wall in between. So um, it's a good idea. I just break them off in pieces and then try to pull out of the of the compartments. So anyway, you just keep doing that until you get all the meat out. Uh, yeah, got a little one. It's time consuming, especially when you have small crabs. The big crabs come a lot easier to pull the meat out. And uh, there again, the vinegar that you put in the water when you steam them and boil them, that's supposed to help loosen the meat away from the shell so it's easier to pick. But here again, it's in a cell. Look, you can pull that whole big piece of meat out. All right, so that's half the shell. I'm gonna do the other half now, but um, I'm gonna show you the claw now. Usually what I do is break that. If you 
pull out too fast, it stays, the meat stays in the claw. I got, I got some on one half of it and not the other. And then on the claw, so what I do is I take my claw clippers, breakers, and I break that open. And there is the claw meat that you get. Now you can keep the claw meat and the body meat separate if you want to do something different with it. And then you got the other, you got the other piece. And there, you broke that up. Look at that big piece of meat right there. Okay guys, I'm gonna clean the rest of these up. It's gonna take me about an hour, hour and a half to do. And then uh, when we get to making the crab cakes, I'll come back. Okay guys, well there's our um, picked shells. We ended up, there's our crab meat. Um, probably got almost two cups of crab meat, not quite. But um, that will be enough to make uh, hopefully maybe six crab cakes. All right, stay tuned. Crab cakes are coming up next. I want to show you the ingredients we're going to use to make our crab cakes. So we need some oil. I got um, three tablespoons of butter, uh, two eggs. Um, one of them had a double yolk, so <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and use it. We're going to need a cup or a cup and a half of breadcrumbs and you can use crackers if you prefer crackers we're going to use um, a half a teaspoon of pepper one tablespoon of Old Spice mustard to taste mayonnaise we're going to start off with a cup and we might have to add a little bit more uh, I don't have an exact measurement on that we're just going to play with it uh, and then you need approximately two cups of your picked crab meat and that's it to get started. First of all, make sure you got a bowl big enough to um, put all the supplies in that you need. And we're gonna start with, and I'm just eyeing this up approximately like a cup of mayo. Two scoops, that's about a cup of mayo. I like to use the yellow mustard. You can use the spicy mustard if you prefer whatever, whatever you prefer for mustard. And then we're just going to use this to taste, so I'm going to put like a good squeeze in there. And that's about it for the mustard. If you like more, use more. Okay, and then we're going to use our three tablespoons of butter. Um, and this butter is like room temperature. You don't want to melt it because you want it to incorporate uh, with that. And we're going to use our um, two eggs. We are going to use about a tablespoon of Old Bay. Like I said, I'm not. Uh, there's nothing too much measurements here for precise measurements, so it comes out a little bit different every time. So this one, you just want about a a quarter uh, teaspoon. We're going to do just a drop of oil. Okay, and then we are going to start off with a cup. I have Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. All right, we'll put that in there. And we are going to mix all that together and see what it looks like. Okay guys, we are going to just mix all this up. And it looks like we're going to need a little bit more breadcrumbs. I'm just going to finish out what I got here. Like I said, you can use crackers, saltine crackers, you can use um, fish crackers, whatever. A lot of people get Ritz crackers and put that in there. All right, so that's about the consistency you want it. 
Okay, now, important part when you put, we're gonna put the two cups of crab meat in. When you put that in, it's important that you kind of fold it in, okay? You don't want to turn it into mush because when you make those crab cakes, you want to see those big pieces of um, crab meat in the cakes. It's a real simple recipe. And what we're going to be doing as soon as we get this here, I have a cookie sheet with a parchment paper on. And that's where we're going to make our patties. And then after I make the patties, I put them in the freezer to get hard, and then I vacuum pack them. Um, and you, I, depending on what your family size is and how many you want, it's just Peggy and I, so we just um, do two at a time in a package. And that's good for whenever we do our shrimp or seafood. We do fish, shrimp, whatever seafood related then we'll have those okay guys so this next part if you have a cookie cutter or you have an egg ring where you would put you know eggs in the morning so they're round or any so, sort of a anything you can make round so I do mine with this little cup um, it's about the perfect size I try to pat them so they're about a half inch thick and I make them with that and what I do is um, I just put a drop of oil in there and I rub it around it just keeps the patty from sticking so much so it'll come out of there easier so let me show you down here what we have I have a cookie sheet parchment paper and I just put that on there and what I do is I grab a handful of this and I kind of just pat it Try to keep so you can see the thickness try to keep it about a half inch thick and i put it on the parchment paper and i just take this cup press down on it and just go around and put that back in the dish and there you go that makes my that makes my patties no set size you can make these thinner bigger whatever however you want um but like i say i try to make them about a half inch thick all right so you can see the let's put that back in the middle you can see the big hunks of crab meat in there like I say use any size tool you got all right guys I'm gonna make the rest of these and then I'll come back to you um, give you the next step what I do okay guys we are done we made we're able to make six crab cakes um, now you can make them smaller bigger like I said whatever you could probably get eight if you made them a little smaller but uh, we like a we like a good size crab cake and it's one for each of us one for me one for Peggy um, for dinner so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the freezer until these get firm enough that I can package and then I'm going to put uh, two in a package with um, parchment paper in between and then I use my um, once they're frozen and I put the parchment paper in between them then I use my vacuum seal bag put them in the freezer and they're good for probably four to six months um, and then when you um, cook them you just take them out let them defrost in the refrigerator and uh, put them in a pan with a little bit of butter and basically you're just heating them up through the crabs already cooked you just want to make sure that the egg gets cooked well so I would say um, and you can use oil too if you want them a little bit like crispy brown rather than butter because butter will burn if you just use butter and I just get them crispy brown on each side probably 
four to five minutes on each side and they're done. So, and then I want to give credit to, there's a, a couple that I watch on YouTube. It's, they're called the old couple, um, Sam and Joyce. I actually got this recipe from her and I just kind of tweaked it a little bit, uh, you know, to fit what we like over here. But, um, if you haven't seen their channel, I definitely recommend that you go check them out. Um, they do 80% of their videos are crabbing. So if you like crabs and, um, Joyce is a wonderful cook. She comes up with some brilliant ideas for the recipes. So go check them out. The old couple on YouTube. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description below so you can click on their channel. They do really well. So a nice couple, check them out. All right, guys, that's going to end this video from, um, fishing, crabbing, showing you how to make these crab cakes. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up really helped the channel to grow. Um, we're trying to approach 2000 um, by the end of the year. So, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of content out there. And if this is interesting to you, share it with a friend. Maybe a friend would like to make these for their dinner. So until we see you next time, take care. God bless. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.